The Duke of Sussex has denied involvement in cash for honours claims and said he «severed ties» with a Saudi billionaire donor to the Prince of Wales's charity six years ago. In 2015, Harry expressed his concerns about Mahfouz Murray Mubarak bin Mahfouz, who it is claimed was promised a knighthood and residency in the UK while donating to the Prince Foundation, a spokesperson has said. Michael Fawcett, who resigned as the Foundation's chief executive after a string of allegations, coordinated with fixers over honours nominations for Dr. bin Mahfouz, a probe found. He was also involved in directing money from the Donors Foundation to another charity, of which Charles was previously patron. The Sunday Times reported that Harry agreed to see Dr. Bin Mahfouz in 2013 after he gave £50,000 to his charity and hinted he would give millions more. The newspaper claimed the pair met at a pub in Chelsea, West London, where they discussed the Duke's charity Centibale, before seeing him again at Clarence House. It reported that this opened the door for access to Charles, a claim which Harry has since denied. A spokesperson for Harry said, It is disappointing that the Sunday Times, knowing all the facts, has chosen to encourage speculation by being deliberately vague to try to create a falsified link between the Duke of Sussex and the CBE scandal, of which he had no knowledge or involvement. The Duke and his advisors, as well as his non-profit Centibale, severed ties with Mr. Mahfouz and his associates in 2015, no longer accepting further donations to Centibale and discontinuing any plans for a fundraising event amid growing concerns over the motives for his support. The Duke had one planned meeting with this donor nearly eight years ago, did not introduce him to any members of the royal family, and expressed his concerns about the donor. Mr. Fawcett resigned in November amid claims he promised to help secure a knighthood and British citizenship for Dr. Bin Mahfouz. Clarence House has previously said Charles had no knowledge of the cash for honours scandal.